This video is totally made up on fiction. Nothing is related to reality. Ignore my mistakes. It's totally imaginary. Don't take it seriously. I'm not encouraging anyone to get influenced by it. The voice in the video is mine. Pictures for edit goes to the owner. Please don't copy my content. Why in Thimkla? Wake up. You are getting late. You have to go to hospital. Thayong, Ish, why you woke up this early today, huh? Wine, it's not early. It's already eight. Thayong, open eyes. What? Why didn't you wake me up before? Why in disbelief? I am waking you from half an hour. Thayong, Ash, okay. Now let me go or I'll get late. Wine, I'm not holding you. Disbelief. Thayong, uh, yeah. He stood up and went to restroom after placing a pack on Wine's cheek. Wine was done making breakfast. She sat on the chair, waiting for Thayong. Few minutes later, he came, being all ready for hospital. Wine and Thayong are married for a year now. It was an arranged marriage, but now they both are in love with each other and have confessed already. Wine is currently in last year of graduation and Thayong is a doctor. He sat on his chair and started eating his breakfast. Thayong, I will pick you up. Don't go alone, okay? Wine, Ash, you say this every day. I know you will come daily. Thayong, yeah, but still, you for you forget everything, just like you forgot to give me my morning today. Wine, yeah, you remember these things too much. Chuckled. Thayong, of course, it's my daily dose. Please smile. Wine, okay, now eat. Or we both will get late. Damn, yeah. With that, they again started eating and then left together. Time skip. Soapy. Hey, what happened? You are looking dull. Wine. I don't know. I'm feeling weak suddenly. Also feeling nauseous. Soapy. He congratulations excited. Wine confused. For what? Sophie. You are not a kid. You know what I mean? Wiggling eyebrows. Wine understood what she wants to say and became red. Wine shut up. It's not like that. I'm having fever. She rolled her eyes. Sophie. Oh, let me check. She put her hand on Wine's forehead. Girl, you are burning. Take a leave. Wine. No, it's already going to over. They will come pick me up. Sophie. Okay, you rest. I will bring juice for you. You will feel better. Wine nodded and, and put her head on the table where Sophie went to buy juice for Wine. Timescape. Wine is standing outside of the university, but there is no sign of the young. Wine. Why he is late today? That's when Sophie approached her.
सोफी वाइन आई थिंक ही गॉट लेट टूडे कम आई विल ड्रॉप यू यू आर ऑलरेडी सेक वाइन डोंट वरी ही विल कम आई एम ओके थैंक यू सोफी सोफी आईश डोंट बी सो फॉर्मल वाइन चकल्ड वाइन यू गो आई विल कॉल हिम सोफी पाउट एंड देन नोड इट सोफी ओके लेट मी नो वन यू फील बेटर ओके वेल आई थिंक आई शुड नॉट वरी यू डॉक्टर हजबेंड इज हेयर टू टेक केयर ऑफ यू शी चीज वाइन या गो Or your fiance will come here to find you, Sophie. He knows I am with you. Laugh. Well, take care. Okay. Hug. Why and hug back? Okay. Bye, Sophie. Bye. Sophie left, and still Tayong didn't come. Why and was feeling more weak. Her fever was increasing. She thought to call Tayong, but to her bad luck, her phone was. She took a cab, and went to her home. Behind Tayong reached at her university. He frowned when he didn't find one at her usual place. Tayong, I messaged her to wait a little. Where she went. He got out of the car and saw her in there. He called her, but her phone was switched off. His heart started beating fast. Tayo, where is she? Worried. Tayo, hey, have you seen Vyan? Boy, no. Tayo grabbed his hair in frustration. Tayong, she won't go at home. She waits for me. What if something bad happened? No, no. I should check at home first. He sat in car and started driving at full speed. His mind was full of negative thoughts. He know why it's not a kid, but still is a little possessive about her. He went inside his home and rang the bell. If Vine is inside, then she will open the door. Vine boob, I was laying on bed. My whole body is burning. I can't even stand. My head is also. Now, I have put my phone on charge so that I can inform Tayong. I was thinking, that's when the doorbell rang. Wine, ugh, who came now? I don't want to stand. Ugh, she stood up weakly, and went to open the door. As she opened the door, she was pinned to the wall. Tayong, why you came when I told you to wait for me? Huh? He yelled. Wine, Tayong, I. Weakly. Tayong, what I? Do you have any idea how worried I was? He was mad and worried both, and was babbling whatever coming in his mind.
and wine was already standing by difficulty. She was trying hard to look at him and answer, but it got difficult for her. She lost her strength, and everything around her started circling, and within seconds she lost her consciousness. Taeyong's eyes widened when she fell in his arms. He came in his senses. He quickly caught her and pulled her close to his chest. Taeyong, Wine, Wine, open your eyes. He pat her cheeks. That's when he realized that she is burning in fever. Taeyong, Oh God, she has high fever. He picked her up and made his way towards their shared bedroom. He made her lay on bed and came with his hospital bag. He checked her temperature, which was high. He sighed. He prepared the injection and gave her to reduce the temperature. After that, he placed a cold compress on her forehead. He sat near her and held her hand and pressed his lips in a thin line. He was guilty, guilty for yelling at her for the very first time, and that's too when she was not well. After some time, when opened her eyes, she felt a hole on her hand. She looked towards it and saw Taeyong staring at her while holding her hand. Taeyong, Vaina, how are you feeling now? Vain, I'm sorry. I made you worried. I wanted to tell you, but Taeyong, shh, first tell me how are you feeling? Vine, a little better. I think my fever has decreased. Taeyong, that's good to hear. He smiled a little. He looked away from her. Vine, are you still mad at me? Taeyong. I'm guilty, Wine. I shouldn't have yelled at you without knowing the reason. You must be not feeling well, that's why you left. But you could have informed me, love. I was so worried. Wine, there. My phone was... I waited for you, but I was not able to stand, so that's why I took cab and came home. Then you did good, but I'm sorry. Without knowing the situation, I yelled at you. I'm feeling so bad. He looked down. I'm sorry. She cupped his face. Wine. It's okay. I know you were worried for me. I know how possessive you are. But I'm glad that you realized your mistake immediately and apologized. She smiled. Taeyong, I will never yell at you again. I promise. When I sleep yelling, I'm hungry. She pouted. Taeyong juggled. Taeyong, wait, I will make soup for my hungry bear. He pinched her nose. Wine, yes, please fast. She said and Taeyong left to kitchen to make soup for her. After some time, he came back and fed her with his hands. Wine, it's yummy, Taeyong. Taeyong, really? 
then finish it all quickly. Forward another spoon. Wine, thank you. Thank no need for thanks. A doctor is taking care of his sick wa sick <laughs> sick wife. Wine chuckled. Wine. Sophie said the same. She giggled. Thayo. Okay, it's done now. Rest. I will come after freshing up. Then we'll cuddle. Okay. He said cleaning her face with the napkin. She nodded. Time skip. They were cuddling and talking. Wine, you know, after seeing my condition, Sophie congratulated me. She laughed. Damn. Uh huh. So you should have told her that you told me to wait till your graduation. She should also know how her bestie is. Wine. She is also like mean to her fiance. Damn, poor him. But why? Ish, how fast you change your expression. Damn, you don't know me properly, Mrs. Kim. There are still many things left to show you. Why? Uh huh. Really? Damn. Hmm, teasing face. Wine on his. Wine sleep. I want to rest. Stay on. Ah, uh, okay. That face. What's with that face? Stay on nothing. I thought. Wine what? Thanks. You are forgetting many things, Mrs. Kim. Wine. Oh, oops. She packed him. Wine. Now, okay. Tayong blushed and nodded while pressing his lips. Wine. Oh, you look so cute while blushing. She could. He also packed her, making her blush too. Tayong. You too, Mrs. Kim. He smirked. The end. I, di I didn't make this one emotional. Because when she fainted, of course, he know it's cause of the fever. And you know how to handle the situation. As he was a doctor. So guys, hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more content. I will post the next video very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.